Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Battlefield 4, episode 23. Sherman here. <clears throat> ah, already. Terrible intro. <laughs> this is a diffuse match, uh, post commentary, uh, like the past few videos have. Um, this is the last three rounds of this match, and I just felt like I'd show them to you because you know, this was a really, really good two versus three. Um, now, we did end up dominating, absolutely, but this is. A, I just mainly want to show you guys this because. As you can tell, I'm using the SKS, and for those who not uh, know this, the, I'm not the biggest fan of the SKS. Uh, people label, label it as being a newbie weapon because of its rate of fire. Now, since I'm also playing on hardcore, it's a two-shot weapon. Well, two to three, depending on the range. But in any case, this was an incredible gun, or uh, gun for this match. Um, now, you also notice, I do have quite a few unlocks for it, um, but I'm only using heavy barrel. Now, I don't recommend using a sight with this thing, unless if you really don't like the iron sights. Uh, it's just because the sights look absolutely stupid. Noticing a sniper over there, one shot, headshot right there, get wrecked. <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't save my teammate, but that was an incredible headshot with iron sights with this gun. But, in any case, the reason why I'm using it is because, for those who don't know, I'm trying to get five service stars with each weapon, and I figured, fuck it, I'm going to start with the... Uh, crappier ones, in my opinion, are the ones I uh, least like. And I'm actually starting to grow a sort of love-hate relationship with this gun. But in any case, the only thing I'm using is the heavy barrel for the increased accuracy. Otherwise, this gun cannot hit the broad side of a barn door. But, um, in any case, guarding Alpha, uh, I decided to sit here for a little bit. Um, and uh, uh, guard Alpha, mainly because, well, of course, my teammate said, you know, uh, guard Alpha, and he was over at Bravo, and there was only two of us left, and there was one of them left, and the uh, one dude left had the bomb. And so, saying affirmative, because he was, you know, yelling at me, guard Alpha, I'm like, I'm already over here! <laughs> uh, and so I was thinking, okay, he's either going to be outside, or he's going to be coming up those stairs that I'm pointing at currently. Now, uh, it's not entirely the case of what goes on, uh, this match did actually end up as, uh, you know, I'm not going to tell you the score, but in any case, my teammate dies seeing that he got killed by an Ace-21 CQB. I'm terrified of Aces. I hate those guns. I hate anybody who uses them, or I dislike, I don't like saying hate. Uh, but I throw a grenade in there, thinking he was guarding the bomb. I just, uh, and I see him pop around that corner waiting for me. I'm like, oh shit, panic and spray with the SKS. Now... That's the thing people say is newbie about it, is the rate of fire and the ability to spray with it. I don't do that with the SKS. In this match, I do it quite a bit because I actually have quite a few panic shots. <laughs> Seeing as, you know, like that dude right there, I thought he would have been arming the bomb because I heard the noise. And uh, seeing that he wasn't, or he backed off of it, uh, I uh, panicked a little bit and sort of sprayed, unfortunately. Again, using the SKS, um, I, that's kind of what I use this entire match. If you guys are wondering what my sidearm is, it's my sort of custom 1911. It has a compensator and a scope on it. I don't have anything on the under rail. Uh, but in any case, I see uh, Wendy throws down a smoke grenade over there. And I did notice um, somebody running by right there, running by the door. Now, my teammate doesn't catch that because he's on the other side of the wall. Um, hearing the sound of them arming it, I decided to charge upstairs. My poor teammate, however, decided he won't take the longer way around, even though it's quite simple. He's just going to the door. Seeing them there, panic uh, again, uh, but taking a little bit more time. Uh, seeing him right there, I'm like, oh shit, stop disarming. Came back around and decided to unload right into him. Disarming the bomb and saving the day. Of course, disarming actually takes a little bit longer than it does, like on uh, Rush or anything like that. And look at that, four to one, four rounds won, uh, three or one lost. So already, this is a win for us. Uh, this last one uh, coming up is not entirely the best one I've had, but it was still a good one. Um, but in any case, uh, starting up this match, uh, I did realize that. They all Earth. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, guys. I can't speak today. My brain is so out of it. Sorry. <laughs> um, 
I, I was deciding whether, okay, should I use my pistol or should I use my SKS? And I, I said, no, that's screwed. It's just, it's a two versus three. I'm going to keep using my SKS and my teammate dorking around with the shield. And, by the way, you guys seem to love that episode that I posted with the riot shield kills. Thank you guys so much for your feedback and the likes on it. Uh, I do... Th Thank you so much for it. That was incredibly fun to make. Seeing that guy, I decided to put a uh, few rounds down his way. I think I hit him once because he just he, uh, veered off and started jumping like a little bunny rabbit doing the whole bunny hop technique. And uh, the reason why I scurried around the corner is because I saw the sniper right over there. I'm like, oh shit. You know, I ran around the corner and tried to aim it down that way, see if I could find him or make him pop out again. So after a while. I said pop around uh, the uh, previous corner again and wait for him. See, he can pop around that corner. I'm like, okay, patience. And I do land a hit. I do manage to land a hit, and he knows that. He knows that I am there and I am a threat. Now I decided to move up to change up my position, so I move up to here a little bit. And seeing this green crazy-ass laser... Not knowing where it is, and it's actually him right over there. Um, the dude with the assault rifle moved back, surprisingly. Not the smartest move on his part, but it was still a move. Now, he does throw down a couple of smokes, and I decided to shoot a rocket launcher. <laughs> um, for those who, know, uh, who wonder why you rarely ever see me use an iroscope, like the one in video where I showed you know, the M16 and me using the iroscope, is because I rarely ever use them. And the iroscope, seeing him come around the corner, I decided to pull out a panic shot. Sorry for interrupting myself. Sorry. But um, in uh, any case, I thought he was going to be still back there by the crate, so I was waiting for the smoke. But uh, seeing this enemy, I decided to get a little bit cocky and try to knife him, not realizing he's a sniper, and he gets me right up close. Uh, that freaking sucks. Um, but anyway, I don't ever really use higher scopes on weapons, unless of them have to because iron sights are absolute shit, or they, uh, or I, I just don't have anything else unlocked for it. Now, my teammate here, he saw that I died right over there, so he, uh, moving over, sees the enemy, he's using the AR-160, oh, by the way, gets him down right there. Very nice job, teammate. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that screen. Please leave a like, comment, do whatever you wish. Thank you guys so much for your support. And I will see you guys next episode.